the programming of a 50 litre simplex softener. Press set clock. Set the time using up and down arrows. Press set clock. Press next and down together for three seconds. Again, press next and down together for three seconds. When the screen displays one inch head, then press next. Alternating should display off, then press next. DP should display off, then press next. Hardness should be in PPM, then press next. One should display backwash, then press next. Two should display brine DN, then press next. Three should display rinse, then press next. Four should display fill, then press next. Five should display end, then press next until you return to the clock. Press next and down together for three seconds. Set softening, press next. Backwash should be set to five minutes using the up and down arrows, then press next. Brine DN should be set to 70 minutes using the up and down arrows, then press next. Rinse should be set to six minutes using the up and down arrows, then press next. Fill should be in kilograms and set to 7.50 using the up and down arrows, then press next. Capacity should be in kilograms and set to 2.50 using the up and down arrows, then press next until you return to the clock. Press next and up together. Hardness this is to be set on site, then press next. Hardness 2 is to remain at 0, then press next. Regen day is to be set to 5, then press next. Set the time of regen to 2am using the up and down arrows. Press next again to return to the clock. Programming is now complete. Next you must fit the 2.7 DLFC. First you must remove the retaining clip. Place the DLFC inside, ensuring the chamfer of the rubber is facing out. Insert and click back in and replace the retaining clip. Next, you must change the injector. First, remove the retaining clip. Remove the brine hose. Using the clack spanner, remove the cap as shown. Remove the injector and replace with a white injector. Replace the cap and tighten with the clack spanner. Replace the brine holes, replace the retaining clip. Programming is complete. EPS, Rethinking Water, 